Good evening my friends, this is Paul and tonight I'm going to be talking about whether it is worth it to purchase the piranha plant if you didn't already get it, he, she, it. I heard that plants have genders but I'm not really sure how to figure it out with a piranha plant. Anyway, if this character is worth purchasing. Now if you already did the pre-register requirements and got Piranha Plant along with the version 2.0.0 update, then there's probably no need for you to watch the rest of this video unless you really want to see me doing Piranha Plant's classic mode route and for the most part failing epically to anyone who's a competitive Smash Brothers player. So feel free to turn it off at this point, but otherwise for the rest of you here's a couple of little tidbits that you should know. First off, in my opinion, Piranha Plant's moveset is one of the most fun and diverse in the entire Smash roster, up there with the Wii Fit Trainer. Even though he's considered an entirely new fighter, he does kind of give the vibes of Simon Belmont a little bit. Like his Poison Cloud kind of reminds me of a combination of his Holy Water and the PK Fire of the Earthbound characters. His Up Smash kind of reminds me of Simon and Richter using their Whip Up Tilt. And then his recovery is just out the... I don't even know what words to use. It's so effective. Like, it provides both horizontal and vertical distance, and it damages opponents. Not only that, but for those of you that love the Super Mario series, there's a ton of great fan service from throughout the games. For instance, for his... It's... I'm just going to say his, because it's just easier to say and because Petey is a guy's name, he turns into Petey Piranha for his final smash, and even though Petey's from Super Mario Sunshine, they pay homage to his appearance in Super Smash Bros. Brawl's subspace emissary mode by making him have two cages, and you can move him left and right in accordance with Piranha Plant's movement, and then if an opponent gets trapped in the cage, then Petey will breathe fire on it and slam it onto the stage, and then they'll go flying. Obviously, they'll fly much more if you use a Smash Ball instead of a Final Smash Meter, but that goes for pretty much any character, so that shouldn't really be a shock to you. Piranha Plant is a nice, surprisingly easy-to-pick-up character. Like, you don't really need to know a whole lot of nuances about Smash gameplay to really appreciate how to play as him. Now, some of his moves have a slight learning curve, like his neutral B is to shoot a spiked ball. I believe it's called Patui is the move. And you have to tilt the control stick when you're ready to hurl the spiked ball. And depending on how close the ball is to his mouth will determine how far the ball will fly. It's one of those trial and error methods. No matter how much I explain it to you, you're just going to have to see it for yourself. For his side B, you can actually charge it up and then release poisonous gas, which is kind of like Fox's Blaster, in which it doesn't actually have impact, but it does damage the opponent, so much so that it can cause upwards of 40% if it's fully charged. However, it can be countered and absorbed, although I have yet to find a successful attempt at this. Then again, maybe I just haven't had good enough players. Oh well. For his up move, he sort of whirls his leaves around and can damage opponents during the flight. Not only that, but he also has amazing vertical and horizontal recovery, which is pretty rare for a recovery attack. Usually characters have great horizontal but terrible vertical and vice versa. Piranha Plant seems to be one of the few characters that actually has both. And for his down B, he gets inside the pot or the pipe, depending on what color variation you chose. I chose blue because that's my favorite color. And then he sort of snaps out really quickly like a snake from a jar. And overall, Piranha Plant's just a lot of fun, surprisingly newbie friendly, and kind of an out of the blue choice. But you know what? It's not nearly as out of left field as Wii Fit Trainer, in my opinion. I know a lot of people are like, what a plant? But honestly, the plant's actually been around for a heck of a lot longer than the Wii Fit Trainer and has way more of a legacy. I mean, it even shows off the prickly piranha from Super Mario 3D World and the poison piranhas from the Paper Mario series. If that's not high levels of fan service, I don't know what is. Wii Fit mostly pays homage to a handful of exercise games. Anyway, that's a bit of a tangent. 
So the only major things you're getting with the purchase of Piranha Plant, which is specified in the patch notes, so if you don't want to take my word for it, you can just boot up the game, you get a brand new classic mode run called New Bloom, where every opponent Piranha Plant faces, including Rathalos here, are all brand new additions to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, because Piranha Plant is the first downloadable character to be in Ultimate, and so as a result, he's going to be doing the characters that debuted in this game as well. In addition to that, there's also a fighter spirit of the Piranha Plant that you can get upon completing classic mode if you're a spirit completionist. And that's about it, really. He also is unlocked automatically when you get into World of Light. Now, I didn't test this on a new game file, so it might be that you have to get a certain way into the game. But when I started up my file that was not even halfway done on World of Light, it said you can now play as Piranha Plant. So you don't have to worry about an additional mission to unlock him or them having to rearrange the map. So yes, you can take down Galeem as a plant. How humiliating is that? I think it might have been nice if maybe Nintendo had, say, added in an additional cutscene, like maybe showing what did Piranha Plant do to escape from Galeem, or maybe the Piranha Plant would have appeared in some kind of battle sequence like they did with Simon and Richter for their reveal trailer, which was super cool. Nevertheless, I don't have too many complaints about Piranha Plant, but I think if you're going to buy him for him alone, don't expect any new music tracks or new stages. You're basically just getting the character, the classic mode run, and another spirit. So that really all depends on how much you really like classic mode and if you think his moveset is good enough for you. So with that, um, I hope I was able to inform you guys of what you needed to know about Piranha Plant. Personally, I think he's worth a buy, especially if the price is cheap on the eShop. I didn't bother checking because I got him for free, but I will put a description in the, well, description when I actually do fact check this after I finish editing. And with that, let me know if you have any questions in the comments section. This has been a recent complaint of mine, but I do allow comments and dislikes and likes, so I don't know what's going on, but you guys can indeed comment to me. So with that, thank you very much, and until the next time, keep the faith, stay epic, God bless, and don't get smashed by a pot. Bye!